we're going to look at using the TVM solver in the TI-83 or 84 calculator to help us solve some compound interest questions. <clears throat> the first one here, Joey makes a deposit of $18 at the end of each month for five years. Uh, he's got a bank account that earns an APR of 1.3% and that's compounded monthly. The first part um, is actually less complicated than it might look. How much did Joey deposit in total? So this is basically asking how much came out of Joey's pocket. Well, Joey put in $18 every month. Well, if we have $18 every month, then there are 12 months in a year, and he did this over the course of five years. So this, we can just punch in, say great, we have 18 times 12, times five. So Joey, over the course of this time, put in a total of $1,080. Um, but because we know that he's earning interest on this, at the end of five years, the account balance should definitely be larger than this number. So over that course of time, um, interest has been earned on those deposits. So let's factor that in in part B. So we say, what's the total value of Joey's investment at the end of five years? So that sounds like a future value type of question, and that's exactly what we said we were going to look at. <clears throat> so let's go to the TVM solver. We start off by clicking on apps, and then we hit enter for finance and enter for TVM solver. N is going to be the total number of uh, both deposits and compounds in this case. So uh, we're doing this for five years and we have monthly deposits and monthly compounds. So five times 12. Our interest is 1.3%. And remember, we can put this in exactly as it's stated in the problem as a percentage. Our present value, well, in this case, there was no initial money already in the account. So all we're doing is making these regular payments. So we're going to say, okay, our present value is zero, but we are making payments of $18. So our future value is what we're looking for. We're going to solve for this in just a moment, but it's always a good idea to check these last three. So our payments being made um, at the end of each month, yes, they are. Same thing with our, our compounds that are happening at the end. Um, and because we're doing monthly payments and monthly compounds, these should both be 12. So we're good to go. We're going to solve for the future value. And in general, these last three tend to stay the same. The most common scenario is to compound monthly. Um, but if ever you see that changes in the problem, we're going to have to address those. So let's solve for future value. So alpha and then enter. We see that it says solve just above enter. So alpha and then enter. And we get this value of one thousand one hundred fifteen and if we're rounding to two decimal places since it's a finance problem we're going to say point two five and that is our total value you know from here we could also ask a question like how much interest did we earn during the course of these five years well if joey put in one thousand eighty and we have a total value of $1,111.25. The only thing that differs between those is how much interest we gained. So we could ask a part C to this. We could say something like, well, how much interest did Joey earn during those five years? And we could just subtract those two values and say, well, if I take Sorry, there's a small typo in here, 1,115. Um, so anyway, if I take that value, 1,115.25, and I subtract 1,080, then we get $35.25 that was earned in interest.